it's just always been there. It's just always been something that I've I've done since like kindergarten. It just always drew. <laughs> A little broken. Well, my name's Haley and I'm 22 years old and currently a post-grad student. Got my bachelor's degree in fine arts and now I just live at home rent free and have a studio in my garage. My grandma honey one day out at the ocean um, set some shells on a table and gave me some colored pencils and I just drew these shells and she looked at it and went, oh my gosh, Haley, this is so great. And so she set me up with some art classes. So after graduating high school, I uh, was perplexed, I guess, as to whether to pursue art as a career or if to do something else. Um, my dad and a few other people had said, Haley, you know, get your master's in something practical like physical therapy or, um, you know, psychology or something and then minor in art. And so not knowing exactly what I was going to do, I went to a community college. I went to Green River. Going to Green River, I, I still didn't know, you know. That, like I don't know am I gonna pursue art am I not but going to Green River th that was what made me decide you know art's something that I can't just put to the side it has to be this number one thing that I do and I have to push forward with it and only it and I remember my dad saying you know Haley if you're gonna pursue art you have to get your masters and I said okay I'm gonna do it art it's gonna happen so I went to Cornish and <laughs> got my degree I remember taking my very first painting class there I had a love-hate relationship with it because the professor for that class was really harsh, but I really enjoyed being in a room of other artists and having a professor that really cared about what I was doing and wanting to see me grow. So, you know, I had gone to Cornish to pursue painting, painting what I did in high school and at Green River. So I spent a lot of time crying and wondering if I should even be an artist because I felt like all of the people around me weren't enjoying what I was making and so it in turn made me not enjoy what I was making and so I I had done an internship at Pike Street Press which is the letterpress print studio which is now where I work um, and I decided you know what I should do a semester of print and just check it out and see what it's about and I completely fell in love with it did copper etchings and you know a whole year later May 2018 my entire BFA show was copper etchings which going in sophomore year, I would never have thought that was what it was going to be. I had been there for painting and had done painting for so many years. Now I continue to have this work in different places and have new connections and new people. But I think something from Cornish is the community is what is so important. Cause you know, I didn't have that Green River and going there, that community was amazing. After graduating, not everyone has the luxury of living off of the art that they're making. My loans, do exist and their thing and I have to pay them back in like two weeks I have to start my first payment but um, they're not as high as other people's and I am thankful for that but I am still going to be making monthly payments for the next 10 years interest is a thing and over the 10 years I could be spending five thousand dollars in interest so now I'm working full-time at Pike Street Press it's a letterpress print studio in downtown Seattle right below Pike Place Market and uh, there we have four different original Heidelbergs that are letterpress printing um, it's, I, really, I really enjoy my job and enjoy the location. But I will say that working in Seattle and living in Puyallup and waking up at 5 a.m. to take a bus at 6 a.m. to be at work at 7.30 to clock in at 8, work until 4, take a bus at 4.15, be home at about 5, 5.30. And so I'm away from home 12 hours a day. Seattle is honestly the place for artists and for artists to grow. The, the interaction of people, the, the community, the networking, and even like the crying <laughs> is really important, important stuff to, to go through and, and have as an artist. And because you have to be broken down to grow, your, grow yourself. After graduating, you're just entirely different than you were coming in as a freshman. And and I don't think I would be who I am and as strong-minded with my art and as secure with with art if I hadn't gone to Cornish. Starving artist. <laughs> That's me. That's my life. <laughs>